The life of Father Joseph Tufar was brought to the Vatican 70 years after his death in the form of a book and documentary. It's a way for Catholics to get to know the Czechoslovakian priest and martyr who was tortured and died under communist rule. Um, he uh, served as pastor in uh, Czechoslovakia in 1940 till 1950 and it was uh, during the communist regime. It was uh, all about the fight of uh, communist regime against the Catholic Church. And he was a hero because uh, he didn't say anything, uh, uh, he didn't confess anything, and, he's, and he simply died. He was beaten to the death. It's a very elementary story in the sense that totalitarian communist power arrested an ordinary rural priest, tortured him, put on a mask of a criminal, murdered him, and then buried him like a dog on the outskirts of Prague. This torture was spurred by a miracle in his parish of a cross moving on the altar. It drew communist attention and they accused Father Joseph of making it all up. Despite the torture, the priest never spoke and was killed as a result. He was buried in a secret tomb so pilgrims couldn't find him. The film is in some way. The film is a narrative about the story of Joseph Tufar. It's told by a member of the state police, Robert Skrull, who was one of his torturers, but repented of his actions. Later, he left the secret police and got a civilian job. Years later, Father Joseph's tomb was moved. It's now a pilgrimage site where prayers are offered in remembrance of him and in memory of the communists who took his life back in 1950.